Bitch, I wake up with no style. Fresh as fuck, I put that on all up. I did this shit. That is fine. Bazı insanlar soruyorlar bana. Oh, senin deri nasıl çok açık, nasıl çok güzel, ne krema kullanıyorsun? Hiçbir şey koymuyorum. Ben pislik adamım ben. Bazen düş almıyorum. Bazen yıkamıyorum yüzünü. Sadece sivilce alırken hiç dokunma. Evet sen çirkin bakanacaksın. Ama bak uzun vadeli kazanç için kısa vadeli açı. Ben Google çevirme yapmak lazım çünkü bilmedim ama o. Bak e, iğrenç göre, gözeceksin ama bak e, güzel olacak çünkü e, e, geçer yani sen hala gençsin geçecek hiç dokunma ondan sonra bak çok güzel deri olacaksın hiç krema falan e, yıkamak önemli değil yani sadece dokunma boy boy I'm a rouse about working in the shearer and shit, and this is how I saved up enough money to go on bloody South Dakota. This is the bloody American. This is a lodge, by the way. Look at this. You bloody fucking kidding me. This fucking thing is massive. Look, and it's a free refills as well. Get fucked. I was at Tesco when I was buying something with my card and then I inserted it and then normally asked for a pin but the lady at the checkout asked me to sign and I thought she was trying to like forge my signature to like scam me like to impersonate my signature but apparently this is like something they do in England is like sign instead of doing a pin which is very bizarre and then she was like it doesn't match the back of your card and I don't have a signature at the back of my card she was like oh I can't give you this I was like what the hell so I just went and uh to use the other self-serve checkout machine guys i feel really weird right now like because look look at this look at my shoe it's completely stuffed and also you know that song that goes i'm feeling wavy i've been sipping on the kraken <laughs> mr traumatic what the fuck is up with mr traumatic seriously who the hell like it gave imagine like mr traumatic playing his music at like uh freaking like a school graduation party oh my gosh dude how it is like Mrs. Traumatic gets to play his music? What the hell? Pum pum, what the hell? Yes, I think the shearing industry can be toxic if you're working with people who are toxic. I've worked with people who have tried to fight me and pushed me and shoved me and I've fallen to the floor multiple times all across Australia and I'm not the type of person who will fight back. I get very scared and I just are uh, too anxious to fight back. And I know that I, I still have confidence to be myself and, and not try to be some hard person who will fight back and defend themselves physically. But I have got this confidence to be myself because I know that I have such a strong self-control. I can be around drinking and using and still be able to say no. And that gives me so much confidence knowing I know who I am. And also people, when they see me being myself, I feel like people respect me more rather than me trying to be like like people are going to hate you regardless and by being myself I attract people who genuinely want to be around me and not just a person persona I've also got a free mentorship program to help you have confidence to be your best self in my link tree every Monday it's completely free sign up definitely make sure you guys are following my new account if you want to see me live streaming right now I'm out here in the pool in Broken Hill living it up this is a look at how big this place is and it's a Saturday morning there's no one here because it's a country town I always forget that McDonald's was literally invented in America like look at this antique McDonald's look it's from like the 1960s or something look they even got the McDonald's time and guys I got that all-american breakfast right here outside this gas station at 8 a.m. I got this mocha this is 300 milligrams of caffeine my American friend told me like I have to tip um, like it's at least two dollars everywhere I go so every time I, I purchase something I get a transaction even if it costs like five dollars I still tip like two dollars apparently that's like what you have to do around here anyway my American friend told me yesterday that apparently you don't tip at gas stations which is which is weird I thought you could tip at that but apparently my American friend told me that you only tip if like the person is at a restaurant serving you like a waiter 300 milligrams of caffeine <laughs> they got the monsters 300 milligrams let's go Gotta slam it down real quick, you know how it is. 
I didn't know New Zealand was active like this. No gang initial in Sigma. I don't even know what insignia is. I think this might be why it says passenger gangway. No sign or tattoos. We don't really have that in Australia. It's very, oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Guys, I thought this whole prime thing was a joke, but like, nah, they ain't playing around, bro. 20 quid for that. Are you serious? You're gonna spend 20 quid on that? 20 pounds on a bottle of prime. What? Hell nah. Dude, I can't believe you spent 20 pounds on that drink, bro. What the fudge? What? Why, lad? Why? Why did you spend 20 pounds on that? I just wanted to know what it tasted like. <laughs> about to catch a train to Scotland, Edinburgh, and I don't know what it is about English iced coffee, but like, it just, it's not as good as Australian. Like, in Australia, you can get like one liter bottles, and like, the, the most they ever had was like 200, you can't even get 300 mil bottles of iced coffee, and the iced coffee's trash. It's not even, I'm sorry, but Aussie iced coffee just hits way different. Like, I don't know what it is. It, the iced coffee is so bad in, in England. I don't know, Aussies do way better. Oh fuck, this sucks, this sucks. Oh fuck. No. Oh, fuck. Yo, it I relapsed on that hard stuff again this week because I got banned on TikTok. My TikTok account means so much to me. I get such a high from getting heaps of likes. I get such a rush of adrenaline and endorphins from the, you know having a video go viral. When I got banned last week, something just clicked. I was like, I just want to get high again i want to hear that how music sounds in that high state and so that's what i've been doing for the past week if anything me getting banned has given me more motivation to keep posting on my second account and build that up and also it's given me more motivation to stay sober because i really hate you know getting high and and using because i feel really like sad and guilty like i feel really good like when i'm high like on it right now but i feel really i don't feel happy like i feel really good but i don't feel happy like with sobriety i feel i feel genuinely happy with my tiktok i feel genuinely genuine happiness but when i'm high like cooked i feel like just really um good i feel really good 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 but i don't feel happy Make sure you guys are following me if you want to learn more about the process of shearing and about how I'm overcoming my addiction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I love you guys so much. You really make me feel so high and happy naturally without substances. All right, peace out now. I've had my license since I was 14. I was Dude, 14. 14. So you've been having a car like... I've had a car since I was 14. Yep. Damn, dude. And Australians watching this like... Now. I'm 19 now, so I've been driving for some, a few years now. See, America, you really have to have a car. Like, it's not one of those countries, at least in South Dakota, where you can just, like, catch a train or a bus down to wherever. You really got to have a car. because All the towns around here in the Black Hills, they're, like, spread out between, like, 20 miles. Like, you, got, you need a car to get to those places. You can't walk. I mean, you could walk, but it would take all day. Yeah, nah, fuck it that. It would take all day to walk it. Yeah, true, true. We get horses, I guess. I've seen people ride horses. True. Old school. Yeah, but oh, you yeah, know, man. cars are... Yeah, everyone has a car, man. I, I honestly, yeah. Oh, everyone yeah, I know has one. All, all my friends. Um, Damn, bro. Yeah, it's... That's crazy, man. It, it's kind of rare to have a car in Australia, honestly, especially amongst young people. Like... Today I was live streaming in Salt Lake City in Utah, and I hadn't eaten anything all day. And one of my live stream viewers like literally pulled up on me and brought me a burrito and like I, I don't understand the internet I don't understand how I'm actually in America funding myself thanks to you guys who like pay me money uh, through my TikTok live streams and you guys support me to just make this content and be in America I can't even believe I'm in America right now freaking Salt Lake City Utah what the hell? Bro, this was just like a place on a map. I remember I used to look at a map of America when I was a kid taking poop, like taking poops in the toilet and look at a map of America and see like Salt Lake City. I would, I would like be like, what was, I wonder what Salt Lake City's like and be like, oh, that's such an exotic faraway lands. Meanwhile, I'm in Australia and now I'm here in Salt Lake City. And it's lit. I'm in America. This is my chance to actually blow up and become the next big thing. And I'm finally starting to actually make money off TikTok. While I'm getting stoned, I produce mediocre, subpar content. But when I'm when I don't smoke, I produce that the best content that I can make. Honestly, my goals and dreams 
means so much more to me than any Zaza or Loud Pack ever could. And this dream means so much to me, and that's why I gave up. I hear this bikey, and then he does a 180. He comes onto the sidewalk. And I'm like, holy fuck, let me fucking hide behind this wall here. I'm over here thinking, okay, fuck, he's going to pull something out on me. He wants me out of downtown LA. He wants me out of his turf. And then I see there's like homeless people sleeping like there. He's going, yo, come on, get up out of here. And then I'm over here on the road. I hear him coming back around. And he's coming back towards me. And then he turns in. Say, this is a driveway. He turns in here, right? And then I'm thinking, oh, what does he want to do? What does he want to do with me now? And then so I go like this. I put up two fingers like that, like, <laughs> please don't shoot. And then, and then he, he gives me, he, he gives me like the, he gives me like a nod. How can it be a women's toilet if it has a bloody urinal in there? I... Oh yeah, by the way, this is the American toilet, by the way. They uh, they have urinals, which is fancy, but they don't have any flush. They just have like blue stuff in the toilet. Um, and also they don't have a water, they have uh, hand sanitizer. So uh, more convenient than like an Australian one, because in Australia, you get people who like urinate all over the toilet seat and then people have to sit down on that. So it's a good thing having a urinal. So far, I rate the American urinal, mm, uh, seven out of 10 and the Australian one, uh, six out of 10. I got that stick, I'm finna hit you with a lick. Give me all your shit, fool. Look, I'm just trying to go home, man. Empty out your wallet, boy. I'll give you anything you want, bro. Where do you think you're going, bro? Oi, give me your shoes, give me your wallet. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Touch me, lad. Don't touch me. Stay there because the police are on their way now. <laughs> I'm about to hit the streets of downtown LA and do a live stream. I'm very tired, but I want to do it for you guys Saturday night. Join my live stream. We'll be, be there in about an hour. All right, I love you guys so much. Mwah. Right. We rode past this one guy and he was like, he started swearing at us. He was like, fuck you, man. Get out of here. Move. That guy was hating hard, bro. He was like, get F out of here. Move. That guy was fucking pissed off, bro. We passed this one guy and he was like, fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. Move. I just used one of these squatty toilets and at first it was really awkward, but now I don't want to use a normal toilet ever again because you actually get like so much out. It's so awkward, someone just walked in. You actually get like so much more out. You know how on normal toilets you feel like you don't get like 100% of your waste out? With the squatty toilet, you feel like, like your whole colon is like emptied. It's super like satisfying. I always look at girls, peaches, and cherries whenever I walk past, out of habit. It's like I can't help myself. I just have to have a peep because it's right there. And I don't know whether this is because of my master debation addiction, because like watching heaps of prom and corn and listening to heaps of Andrew Tate content, like objectifying women, made me see them as, as objects, which I'm just starting to break free of now. And I'm starting to see females as people with uh, complex thoughts and feelings, but also just the the sexual frustration of, of being a virgin and, and being exposed to so much explicit content on the internet, like prom and corn, it made me like so frustrated seeing like, oh, it's like, it's it's right there. Like it's in, it's in public in real life. I can see it, um, but I can't have it because I'm, I'm, I'm just too much of like a a virgin autistic virgin i don't know if, i don't know if it's weird or not let me know if it's, it's weird that i that i like instinctively um check out a, a girl's b uh, bunda or, or cherries like i don't know if that's weird or not let me know but yeah guys definitely make sure you're following me if you want to learn more about shearing hey hey, hey, hey what the fuck man what the fuck what the fuck are you oh. what the fuck man you're fucking good man
can we take a moment right now to appreciate how beautiful Turkey is? Oh my gosh, the vibes are absolutely exquisite and beautiful. Super, like this sunset, man. I just love Turkey so much. So beautiful. Look, that's an abandoned, that's literally abandoned. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how good the weather is in LA? Like it's the middle of winter right now and there's not a single cloud in the sky. Oh man, it's so hard to be unhappy when you're just in good weather all the time. I love it so much. Guys, I'm on the Greyhound bus right now and I literally just got recognized. This person just said that she uh, uh, follows me on TikTok. That's so crazy. Appreciate that, legend. Cut up your chicken into little pieces and then add some corn oil and then start sauteing that chicken and then use some filtered water for your boiling water for your pasta and then add it in once it's boiling and then stir it and then once your chicken's cooked add in that pesto pasta and then make sure you get all the pesto out of the jar and then stir it drain the pasta and then pretty much stir it mix it up and enjoy shut up dog little bitty house and a little bitty car <laughs> <laughs> little bitty house and a little bitty car Little bitty dog and a little bitty yard It's alright to be little bitty Little bitty house in a big old city Might as well share, might as well smile Life goes on for a little bitty while Guys, I'm in New York right now And it's crazy how the subways look exactly like how they look In Joshua Blocks World of T-shirts videos when he does like dance videos on the subways, it's crazy. When I was a teenager, I struggled a lot with like going out into public and I was convinced that every single person was watching where my hands were, how were my arms moving in correlation with my shoulders and stuff. I was convinced that I was the main character and that is true to a certain extent. People were looking at me in public and they do look, but... I thought that people were looking at me and judging me and it was a problem and I was scared to go out into public because of it. But I realize now that I'm older that people don't care. Yeah, they look at you in public, people look, but they don't care. They look at you for like three seconds and they look and they focus on their own life. Let's go. How on earth am I supposed to get out? Ridiculous. How am I supposed to get out? Was it? Hello? I thought you trapped me. Nah, treat yourself service. I thought you were trying to kidnap me. Jeffrey Dahmer type beat. I'm just praying. Thank you. Cheers. Guys, I'm leaving LA in two days on Tuesday. I'm going back to Melbourne. I decided to get sober before my flight so that I go to Australia on a sober state of mind because, I mean, we're puffing that Kelly leaf and it makes me too, like, just hazy. I can't think straight. So I'm getting my shit together before I leave. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sleeping overnight on a camp out in the shearing shed and I don't have any blankets and someone asked me, are you going to be warm enough for tonight? And I said, mm, yeah, yeah, I'll be right, I'll be right. And then it was very nice of them. They came back and gave me this blanket um, and I tried giving them $5, you know, for the blanket and they were like, oh no, like it's, it's a present from me to you. And it just feels so weird for me, like accepting gifts. Like I feel like, like I'm not worthy kind of, like I don't deserve it. And I always feel like I have to give something back. Like, it's so hard for me to kind of accept gifts. And like, I tried giving them five bucks, but they, they could, wouldn't accept it. And yeah. Catch me and the cousin kissing. Are you listening? My dad's still missing. Back in the day, I used to kick clay. And I would pray when I would go to class, but I could never pass. My uncle used to smoke glass. And real fast, put his cock in a sheep's ass. Moving on, my dad's gone.